Hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time of day it might be, and welcome to episode 19. My name is Richard Isherwood. I'm a registered nurse working out of my clinic in the UK called No More Earwax. Have a look at this. This gentleman came in with two proper, proper, fully blocked, chocker block ear canals. Just seeing the right there. Here's the left. And uh, when you see ones like these, you think, oh, well, we're in for a good in here. Um, as are you guys. I know you like the long, epic ones, and this was certainly one of those. Um, as it is, Sod's Law, Murphy's Law, whatever you want to call it, it was the last patient of the day. Uh, and it, it, it took a good old while. Obviously, these videos are edited, by the highlights, so to speak. Um, but yeah, it took a while. Now, as you can see, we've already pulled one bit out there, but it's this kind of wax. So whilst it's not really mushy or sludgy or... Uh, or sloppy or anything like that it is a bit more held together but it still quite commonly breaks away sometimes you'd rather it was either really really runny so it just slurped up or really hard so it all came out in one go but this was kind of somewhere in between um, because every time you grab it you give it a wiggle hope it all comes out together um, but invariably it doesn't and they had it all going against him this, this poor fella um, as you can see, it's really dark. It's been in there a very long time, I suspect. And had a very, very hairy ear canal as well, uh, which a lot of us do. I'm certainly one of them. Um, what nature has in store for us that they think that middle-aged men need more hair everywhere, in the nose, in the ears, in the butt crack? Who knows what they've got in store for us that we think we need more when we get older. But for some reason, him upstairs has decided that we need all this hair when we get to we get to middle age. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of it that's actually ended up in there as well. It's quite matted. Um, it just adds to the difficulty of of getting this out, to be honest. Um, so we're making some headway. I think a decent chunk is about to come out now. But uh, yeah, this one is called the never ending earwax. You'll see why, I mean, you might see why already, to be honest, uh, but you'll see why as we go on. And it does happen sometimes, this, uh, look at this little juicy thing coming out. Look at all that matted hair in it there. Like I said, it's broke away. And stuff that was further back, it's brought that further forward. So I've been hiding, have a look at me. Don't leave me behind, and we never do. Um, but yet again, just breaks away, just snaps away there. Yeah, never in the near wax. Um, uh, it does end, obviously. I suspect it went all the way uh, back to quite close to the eardrum. And every time you pull some forward, take some out, you think, ah, oh, that's got to be it now. Thank goodness for that. And then with that, it pulls something else forward. You think, huh, where's that just come from? And it's like sprouting like a Christmas tree when you take it out of the box, it just goes dying like that. And uh, you think, well, where have you been hiding? Um, but yeah, it just kept coming. It just kept coming and coming and coming and coming. And bless the chap, he was incredibly patient. He had to put up with a lot for us to get all this out. Um, and for the most part, I enjoyed it. The simple, straightforward ones, my day would be very dull if they were all straightforward. Um, don't mind too many challenging ones every now and then. Not all the time, don't get me wrong. Especially last thing on a Friday. But uh, the odd little one kind of keeps it interesting. There had been a fair amount of oil prior to uh, removing this as well. And just before we started, we did add a bit of oil in for good measure as well. A little bit of olive oil helps to bind it all together. And so yeah, just slurped up the last little bit in there and you can see the eardrum in the distance. So finally finished that one. There it is, look, it's sparkly and clean. A couple of little bits here and there. It's not worth taking those out, it really isn't. Are you gonna get any benefit from it? Probably not. Uh, and so yeah, so here's the second one on the left. Now it probably gave me a bit more of a challenge. Just I think it was even fuller. And it was, it's quite narrow the entrance and it was 
another one of those ear labors, I suppose. Um, where it's probably only about a centimeter dilated, but the thing itself is bigger than the hole I'm trying to get it out of. You know, I know your women who've had children will be screaming and shouting at me right now, saying it's nothing like childbirth. The principle's the same. It doesn't fit through there. So you either got to break it down into little pieces or when you pull it forward, slowly wriggle it and jiggle it. And um, you can kind of widen it enough that we can get it out, but I've got a good grip of this bit already. Um, but it is lodged. It is lodged. It is lodged really deep down in there. And no amount of wiggling, jiggling, up, down, side to side. It's encouraging this one to come out. Hindsight, this point, maybe should have got some of the manual tools out. Uh, but sometimes you just get in the zone, so to speak, you get really focused on what you're doing and you think, well, okay, make, making some progress here, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. And we can all, uh, I enjoy watching these back because I can uh, learn from my own mistakes and improve my own practice which you can you can never know too much there's certainly a lot of others who are doing these type of procedures who know a lot more than me i'm just a regular nurse at the end of the day who knows how to get it out you want to go somewhere for your lessons on your complicated medical conditions and all that that's fine there's loads of places for that um but i'm not but uh, i just rather have, have a bit of a chin like have a bit of a chat have a brew while you guys watch this Oh, you've got your brew. Maybe you've got some popcorn. Like I said, it is a long one. Now, just dragging some in from the side there. And again, if you've watched these before, it's a decent idea to try and peel it away from the canals, canal wall around the edges. Try and get it bunched up into the middle. And then um, hopefully we can all fetch it out. But more often than not, as you're seeing, a lot of it's just disappearing straight up the tube. You can see it glistening around the edges there, can't you, where, uh, where I've oiled it. Um, yeah, it serves a couple of purpose, putting a bit of oil in intermittently. Um, obviously lubricates the side of the canal wall, makes things slide up it more easily, but it also binds all this wax together. But no amount of oil was going to help me too much with this one, I'm afraid. Yeah, extreme close up there. So we've, what I've done there, I'm trying to get underneath that and try and um, lift it up. So I've tried the side to side, giving it a little side to side again there. And uh, you, you, you really do have to pull with some force sometimes, you know. Um, you always have to be mindful, obviously, not to pull too hard. See, but let's go. You can uh, suddenly jolt back. Um, but it was putting up a fair old fight. It would given it a really good hold, uh, this ball, and it did not want to leave. But I, I'm very stubborn. It's uh, it's very rare that any any escape me. I don't like giving in easily. The kids will say it's because I'm really competitive. And yes, I, I am. I am one of them competitive dads. Kids need to learn how to lose. Very important life skill. <laughs> so as you can see, as it's coming out, it's kind of sprouting out. You can see that it, it, there's clearly been a little bit of pressure inside this ear. That's why it's quite uncomfortable. But as it comes out, it kind of expands again. Like it's been really, really compacted in there. Oh, somebody pointed out to me the other day why I keep swinging from side to side. I don't know. I don't know. It's involuntary. I'm not aware I'm doing it, but I've just been made aware that I'm doing it now. <laughs> that I'll try and keep still. I'm actually sat on this swivel chair that I do my procedure on. It's a force of habit. We're almost there. Like I said, the last one, this is the left one, it is still gave me a a bit more of a challenge than the other one because it was just so tightly packed in there jam packed doesn't mean it was actually packed with jam or jelly I believe as you call it in the US you guys have some weird uh, weird ways of uh, saying things yeah it's not peanut butter and jelly it's jam 
and this is when something's really full, we call it jam packed. Or proper clogged up. Or full to brim. We have lots of sayings. Lots of saying for things that are full in here. Chocker blocks are good as well. And yeah, it, it's never ending again. As you can see, the bits are coming out all the time, disappearing up the tube. There's very little actually left to show um, with ruler shots at the end and what have you because the majority of it, it did actually, uh, is, is all disappearing up the tube. I think we managed to get one, one plug that stayed intact. I think it might be this one. And wait till you see the end as well. No expense bird uh, on the editing on this. It was like a Spielberg epic, what I've done. Um, above me, I think to the side of me is where it is. Above me will be the uh, the plug, probably this one. And to the side of me, not sure if it's that way or that way, um, you'll see a before and an after. So you'll see four ears uh, in one shot. Like I said, no expense paid. Oh, before I forget, if you really enjoy these videos, subscribe on YouTube, uh, follow on TikTok, give us a heart, give us a like, give us a follow. Really enjoy reading all the comments, as some of you regulars will know. Hello, those of you who uh, comment all the time, you know who you are. Thanks for continuing to watch. I'm in suspense, even though I know what's going to happen. <laughs> It's going to come out there. It is you just saw that last bit, a little lift out there, and look at the sheen on that. Now you can see by how smooth it is on the surface there, how tightly packed it must have been in there. So the relief, this poor fella felt must oh dropped it again, caught it. I don't know where I caught it from. Whether I caught it in my dare, I doubt. Uh, and there, there, the uh, there's it from. Wonderful and clear and clean. And yes, he was very grateful. There it is. Plug up there. And look at those four before and afters. Um, yeah, like I said, no expense bad. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did putting it together and narrating it. Once again, do appreciate all the support so far. Uh, if you can tell your friends all about it, maybe share the page. I'd really appreciate it so we can get the word out there. And get me some dad points so I can get an advert to make 50p to make me the coolest dad in the world. So it can be an official YouTuber who's made... Um, who's made uh, 50p from uh, from an advert. That's all I want to do, and then I won't put another advert in again, I promise. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching this epic, and I will see you again soon. Take care for now. Bye-bye.